Hey there, Jamie from the Marine Doctor's YouTube channel, and today I've got something truly game-changing for you. I'll be unveiling mind-blowing tips for your four-stroke engine with a special focus on the carburetor. These secrets are so incredible, I might even lose money if they become widely known. If your engine is struggling to idle and only runs with the choke engaged, you're in for a treat because these tips will have your engine purring like never before. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of carburetors and let's get things underway. So let's get started. We need a Phillips screwdriver. We need a jet removal flathead screwdriver. This is the particular one I'll be using. There are other ones out there just generic that you can purchase. We need a wire and we need a drill bit. So the carburetor is already off as you can see. And this is the carburetor that I've been using to do the tests of the 8 to 9.9 .9 horsepower engine with. So I'm just going to take the float bowl off. And once the float bowl is off, we can then get to where we need to be. So I know that whether you're a seasoned technician or you're the, the person that likes to do stuff for friends and family, or you just want to learn, this gets missed by a lot. So we're going to go ahead and remove the high-speed jet. And we're also going to remove this plug. So the high-speed jet just has an emulsion tube that sits underneath it. And it's, it's just a, it more or less just a hole. It's, what is that? That's about 530 seconds or a little bit bigger. But the important part is in this hole here. And people often miss this one. So they blow it out or they put it in an ultrasonic. Sorry for the noise. And the ultrasonic does not clean this properly. We still end up having to remove it. Or if we remove it ahead of time and put it in the ultrasonic, it still doesn't work. We still have to do what I'm about to show you guys. This is a huge tip. Now, if you guys come to the channel, you know I like to do tips for people. Okay, so inside here is a very, 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 very small hole. If you just simply blow it out, it's not gonna clean it. You have to take a wire and slide it up through there. Now look, look, there's resistance. Look how thin this, this wire is and there's resistance with it going through. So we want to push it up through, make sure it comes out the other side and then we want to spin it. After we do this a few times, we're then going to take it over to compressed air and blow it out. I'm, I'm going to miss that step because I know that this is clean and I'm going to see a hole all the way through there already. But again, I'm pumping it back and forth, I'm spinning it. Now we would take and blow it out and then we look for that hole. Now, I know, like I said, the hole is in here and I don't know if this is gonna show or not. I know that I can see it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but the hole is all the way through. So ideally what I do is I take it outside. I'm just short, shutting off my flashlight. I take it outside and what I do is I hold it up to the sun and I look through it. And then if I can see that it's a perfect hole or what I deem is a perfect hole in there, I know it's clean and then I can reinstall it back in. So to install it, we simply put it back in. We take our screwdriver and just spin it all the way back down inside. All we want to do is seat it. We don't want the screwdriver to skip. If the screwdriver skips, you have to take it back out because you might have peeled some of the edge. And if you peel the edge, it could very well get down inside that jet and all the work that you just did will be negated by that. Okay, that's number one. Number two is if this doesn't completely fix it because if we've got some wear in that engine or there's something where it's running a little bit lean and it's still, it, let's say for example, it, it now runs with the choke off, which is fantastic, but then you go to throttle up so you're spinning the throttle, right? And the engine wants to bog. How do we take care of that? 
Well, a little known secret is on this side, and it's located right there, there's an anti-tamper plug. So I'll show you up close what an anti-tamper plug looks like on another carburetor. So this is a Tahatsu carburetor, and can we see it there? There it is right there. That little brass colored piece there, that circle, that's an anti-tamper plug. So I've already removed it on the other one, but how we would remove it is tap the center and then drill it out. Once we drill it out, we have access to that screw. Right down inside there, that's the screw that I'm talking about. Normally from factory, it's closed. So if we go ahead and we spin it out, say a three quarter of a turn or half a turn, then retry the engine, it's very likely that it will correct your problem. So what do we got here? We've got the low speed jet that's in there that we have to clean out. And we do that with a wire. We drill out that anti-tamper plug that's in there and then we have access to that screw. And then we go ahead and we back that out to the point where the engine will then run properly. Now, this is off of a 9.8, 9.9 and 8. These tips still apply to all the carbureted four-stroke engines out there. Some of them may not have the anti-tamper. They may actually have adjustable jets, which is fantastic, but they all have that little guy inside there. Now, I've had these carburetors off, so when you're pulling four of these carburetors off of a four-cylinder engine, and you don't get one of those clean, you have to disassemble all four carburetors again to find out which one is causing the problem. Well, there are shortcuts, but maybe that's another video. So keep that in mind. That has to be 100% clean because that's the most notable thing that's gonna cause issues with the engine not wanting to idle when the choke is pushed in and or accelerating. And with the magic of editing, here I am, we're done. So two great tips for your carburetor. I hope you guys can put them to use. Remember that applies to carburetors and four stroke engines. Two stroke engines do have low speed jets. Yes, they cause the issues. They can be cleaned the same way, but this tip is fantastic for four stroke. All right, with that, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment below if you like. Uh, like, subscribe, all of those great things. I'll see you guys in the next video.